Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about the best boating lakes in the United States, and we're on part three. You knew this one had to be on it, Lake Powell. Lake Powell, it's in um, Arizona, about six hours north of Flagstaff, seven and a half hours east of Las Vegas on the Colorado River. It's on the Utah-Arizona border. It's 3,700 feet in elevation. It's probably the most unique views that you'll find in boating today. You've got the the cliffs that have been carved out over who knows how many centuries and millennia or whatever. Um, the lake levels go up and down with all the droughts in the area, but it's gorgeous. And you can see it's kind of laid out in the the canyons and um, in the, the desert and the mountains. And um, it's just, look at this. You can't be, I mean, you're not going to find that in Nebraska or in the Carolinas or in the Northeast. This is, I think, probably the most unique lake that uh, there is, and it uh, has to make the list. Then we move up to Iowa, Okaboji Lake. Uh, they call it West Okaboji. There's two different sides of it, but it's an hour and a half east of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, three and a half hours northwest of Des Moines, Iowa. And you can see it's just it's in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the corn. <laughs> it's it's in the country. Um, and uh, as you look, it's got um, super clean water. It's it's almost blue. Um, and, and that beautiful Midwest. I'm a Nebraska guy. Uh, not too. We're probably four hours from uh, from Okaboji, maybe a little bit further than that. But the beautiful Midwest sunsets with that flat land that um, you just you can see for miles. It is a beautiful area. They've got some really cool bars and restaurants up there, and um, they've got the I forget what the name of it is, but this uh, amusement park right on the water. They've got bands, they've got concerts, they've got a Ferris wheel. Uh, just a, a super super cool spot uh, in the unsuspecting state of Iowa, and um, the Okaboji definitely makes the list. Then we move down to Texas, Travis Lake. Austin, Texas, just outside. It's, I mean, it really is just northwest of Austin. 1,900 acres, 27, 270 miles of shoreline. And um, Lake Travis has a, a history of going up and down. I just did an interview with uh, Mark Phillips from down there. He's got a, a pontoon on Travis, loves the lake. It's beautiful. But he said, it, hey, it just it rises and falls has for has for a long time and uh, every seven years or so it goes up and down you can see this is mark on his harris pontoon um he, he's a subscriber he's uh joined the ambassador program and helped promote what we're doing here and um, he's been a been a great part of the community but look at how nice that water is as he's uh, anchored out at this little sandbar area then we move closer to my neck of the woods currently lake jocassi it is um about an hour northwest of greenville south carolina now it's not the biggest lake there's some other bigger lakes lakes right there um specifically like hartwell and um but it's 7500 acres um fairly deep 75 miles of shoreline is all um, but you can see kiwi and uh, hartwell is is kind of down here a little bit further um but this is joe cassie up top not the huge lake but look at these beautiful waterfalls that you find on joe cassie and look at the color of that water it's just it's amazing it's a beautiful lake it's kind of a hidden gem that um that we have here in the carolinas then we move to banger maine moosehead lake now moosehead lake you can see it's it's surrounded by this public service land um and uh it's the second largest lake in the northeast 75,000 acres 40 miles long 10 miles wide um but just check this out the beautiful fall leaves turning um I, I just i get the the picture of this like quaint little town and um it, just this quaint little lake with just this gorgeous scenery all around uh it, it takes me back to like on golden pond um if you've watched that old time movie but um it had to be moosehead had to be on the list then we move down to norris lake I, I do a lot of boating down in this area with my in-laws it's an hour and a half north of knoxville tennessee but Lake Norris, or Norris Lake, I guess is how you say it, 206 miles long. It's only a mile and a half wide, 809 miles of shoreline, 54,000 square miles of, of water. Um, it's cool. It's up in the mountains. It's up in the mountains of Tennessee, kind of the Smoky Mountains. So the water temperature only gets to about 72 degrees. It is crystal clear. You can see down to your feet. Um, and uh, it's got several bars and restaurants on the water, but just a gorgeous, gorgeous boating spot. Then we move um, back to California to Shasta Lake. Shasta Lakes, it's about two and a half hours north of Sacramento, two hours south of Medford, Oregon. So in that northern section of California, 35 miles long, 
30,000 acres, 365 miles of shoreline. Um, but it's got these caverns that uh, you can only get to by boat. You can go explore those. Um, the Mount Cloud Arm, they, you can see these gray rocks. And then you you also, you have Mount Shasta in the background. Look at how gorgeous that is, that big, huge open water. And then you've got that big snow-capped mountain in the background. Um, that is is a spot that you're not going to see very often. If you're new to boating, check out the Boater Boot Camp, boaterbootcamp.com. It's got a three-part video series. You'll love it. If you struggle with operating your boat, with docking your boat, tying it up, check out the Best Boat Captain on the Water. It's an amazing program, bestboatcaptain.com. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.